In this video, we will discuss frequency analysis. Suppose Alice sends Bob the following ciphertext, but this ciphertext is intercepted by Eve. Eve knows that this ciphertext was generated using a Caesar cipher. However, she does not know the number of character shifts that Alice used to encode the message. There are only a maximum of 26 character shifts that are possible using a Caesar cipher. So, Eve could try every possible combination of character shifts in an attempt to recover the message. However, using the technique of frequency analysis, Eve can attempt to guess directly the number of character shifts used by examining certain patterns in the ciphertext. By counting the number of times each character in the ciphertext appears, there is a very high probability that the character that appears the most frequently is the character space. In the English language, the most commonly used character is the space. Once Eve discerns which character has been encoded as the character space, she then knows exactly how many character shifts were used in the Caesar cipher, and therefore can break the message. By counting the characters in the cipher text she intercepted from Alice, Eve finds that there are 10 Ys, which is significantly higher than any of the other characters that appear. So, more than likely, the character space has been encoded as the letter Y, which would indicate a shift by two characters in the Caesar cipher. Using this Caesar cipher, Eve is able to construct her own decoder disk and decipher the original plaintext phrase, so no one told you that was good. 